While we're working on the sloth on the table, Maya's in the background dealing with Pringle. She basically let herself out. Oh, hi. She's eating her food that's inside the cage. She's crazy. Oh, she couldn't get to her leaves from the inside, so instead of moving across her cage, she went outside and came and started eating them from the outside. Are you trying to let yourself back in? She goes in and out as, as she please. She can't get her fat butt back in. <laughs> <laughs> the sloth was hungry. Can you blame her? Welcome back to GMA3. That's a clip from the new season of Dr. Oakley, Yukon Vet, which chronicles the incredible stories of resilience, compassion, and untamed nature in the world of veterinary medicine. I love it already. And the star of the hit series is here with us today. Please welcome Dr. Michelle Oakley. So good to have you good with to us. Good to see you. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So being a vet in the wild comes with its own challenges. What's yeah. been one of the most heartwarming experiences for you? Oh, I mean, the clip that you show with the sloth is a good reminder. We were just recently in Costa Rica working with sloths, and um, there was one female who'd been in captivity for two years since, since she was a baby. Um, they didn't feel comfortable releasing her because she didn't seem to have an initially use of her hind legs. Um, but we were able to come and bring some equipment, some x-rays and some treatments, and we showed that she could be released. And the whole time we were there, she was calling to the other sloths in the wild. And then we got to release her. And I mean, that's kind of what it's all about, right? Is getting big them moment. back yeah, to the wild. So those are the moments that, that we are working for. So what's unique here is you're often operating in very rugged terrain, the Yukon yeah. places in Alaska. How <laughs> mm -hmm. does that create challenges for you? And how do you overcome that to make sure you can service these animals? Yeah, it's, it's all field medicine, right? So it's trying to adapt the clinic to the wild. And we're working in the extreme environments. You know, Alaska and Yukon can be 20 below, 30 below. We've worked in 40 below, where like the instruments are freezing to my hands. You know, um, we work from boats, where we go to remote places on boat and set up the clinic. Um, sometimes we're traveling on snowmobiles, so we're trying to put everything on a snowmobile on that travel. Fun. Wow. So it's you know helicopter. Often I'm darting out of a helicopter or working. So. Really, it's all about adapting the clinic, you know, to whatever situation, whatever animal we're working on. There's a wide range of species. It's also like an adventure sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sort of, well, yeah. Amazing commitment that you, you have. You also get a chance yeah. to bond with your family and your daughters on the show. What's that yeah. like? Uh, that's, I mean, I'm just so lucky. I feel like, you know, we've had 12 seasons now that people, we get to share, you know, our family working with animals with everyone who's watching. And, you know, the girls have grown up on the show mm -hmm. and they've really come into their own in terms of their own passions to help animals. You know, my oldest daughter, Sierra, started vet school this year, so Aww. that's exciting. Oh, nice. Now that's <laughs> a good testament right? of mom's great work. Yeah, and then Maya um, is one of the best animal caretakers and, and just helps, you know, with the recovery. And so, and my youngest daughter, Willow, when we travel to remote places, she's often out trapping feral cats and brings them in. And, and she's one of the most feral of my, of my children. So it's like <laughs> everyone's kind of found their niche. And then we kind of work together to get the animals, you know, either get them homes or get them back to the wild. And we, is that your goal for everybody that's watching that they would develop a love for animals? Yeah, I mean, we get a lot, tons of fan mail now from, you know, little kids that want to be veterinarians or they want to help animals. And that's been by far the most rewarding part of, of this kind of decade that we've had, you know, with Nat Geo series. So, yeah, I mean, I want to encourage people to do this, and we're hoping to do more of this, especially international re rescue work. All right, Dr. Oakley, thank you very much. And folks, be sure to check out Dr. Oakley's Yukon Vet on Nat Geo Wild. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.